welcome dear students in accounting education today we explain balance sheet of state bank of india state bank of india is a nationalized bank of uh, india and uh, it uh, follows uh, banking rules and regulations for making a balance sheet we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 5 years balance sheet and uh, it has two parts it is a uh, vertical not a horizontal first part is a uh, capital and liabilities and second part uh, is of assets in the liability side of uh, balance sheet of state bank of india we are seeing uh, equity share capital share application money preference share capital this will be under schedule one and second is reserves and evolution reserves this will be covered in schedule 2 and uh, third schedule of liability is uh, deposits deposits of customers in different accounts saving account term deposits uh, and uh, whatever uh, SBI receives from customer that is a liability uh, SBI must give this amount to its customers boy wings sometime uh, for uh, buying any fixed assets or fulfilling the working capital needs uh, SBI got uh, boy wings so this is also liability of uh, bank other liabilities and provisions uh, will also the liability of uh, SBI in these liabilities we can include uh, bill payable outstanding uh, interest uh, and uh, provision for taxations now we are going to assets asset side in the asset side sh schedule 6 uh, is of cash and balance with IBI it is it is very compulsory for every bank in India to deposit some amount in central bank so this will be in the schedule 6 and and in the schedule 7 balance with banks uh, this is just opposite of the deposits uh, of customer as a balance with banks is an asset because uh, all the money which comes from saving account term deposits uh, uh, will not invest uh, uh, in 100 percent ratio but uh, some amount uh, banks keeps in uh, its pocket uh, for paying to customer and then advances bank uh, uh, will give to the customer the facility of bank drafts cash credit credit card facilities so all these are the advances uh, will cover under schedule 8 and uh, these are the assets investment uh, in government security in shares in, and in debentures is also asset of uh, bank SBI gross block is showing the fixed asset less uh, accumulated depreciation net block will cover under schedule 10 and schedule 11 will show other assets other assets uh, means advanced taxation interest receivable but not received and uh, stop of stationary stamps uh, uh, will be uh, in schedule 11 so this is the balance sheet of SBI. Thank you very much.